idea. Anyways, this episode's about getting it on the water. In order to do so, we had to do a bunch of work to it though. I had to get the rub rails on. Once the rub rails were on, we could strap it. And uh, I was just kind of paranoid because actually what you'll see later, the, uh, the kitchen, the structure itself was just kind of placed on the barge. Mariner, help, huh? Did you pull, did you pull the strap on me? <laughs> Bring it in! Oh, <laughs> that's the buddy, huh? That's the buddy. So I strapped it for the move. Ooh, it took a long time. Uh, it took quite a few days of sitting around watching the calendar just pass on by. Um, and finally, on the 28th, superhero day, our superhero, Floyd, superhero day. Floyd the superhero gets us loaded. Yeah, about what? These draw bars don't handle as much weight as if you have a flat plate under them. So we may have to pull those out and help get the front up and block it up. And I have some flat ones that go in here. They'll handle it easy. It was a long day. Worked uh, from 4.30 to about 10.30 to get it loaded on the barge. Sat there scratching your head. Trying to figure out the best way to do it. Had a bunch of wood move out of the way. Uh, this whole process has been a has been a long and interesting one i'm sure you the viewer sitting there saying why is he doing that well one because i'm an idiot two because i'm broke so when you're dumb you got to be tough and when you're poor you got to be tough so i'm just a tough dumb son of a well, we got it loaded up show up the next day and i'm trying to school caroline on kill deer because uh last year marin and i uh tried to hatch two broods eight eggs we found out at the farm out at alex's I think we hatched five. Yeah, five out of the eight. Pretty good success rate. So I was sitting there explaining to Caroline what killed deer are, and next thing you know, there's a there's a nest of them. Turned around and look what he found. There's eggs right under the barge. Here's the barge, and there's the eggs. Yeah, man. You can hear Mama right now. Mama's not happy. So we're gonna go ahead and put this sign over top of them keep them safe again there's the eggs here's the food boat <laughs> so we get the kill deer protected and uh get her strapped down had to explain to caroline that you gotta pull on the strap what do you gotta say man what's the magic word that's not going anywhere you gotta say that's not going anywhere you can't get underway do you know how to use these <laughs> yeah <laughs> click 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 click, click. click. I got it. Now, Caroline, he left out a very important instruction on how to use these. What? You can go click, 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 click. But if you don't pull the strap at the end and say that's tight or that's not going anywhere, you're not done. Good to know. Yeah, that's good. Right? You got, you got to actually inspect them though, right, Floyd? You got to say that's not going anywhere? No, I, I trust your work. Famous last words. Listen to that. One thing I've noticed about the water is you're trying to keep the wheels on this train the entire time it's going. Like boom, 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 gears flying, this flying, sprockets, and you're just trying to keep it together and keep it going forward. And uh, Ernie, Ernie. So when Ernie didn't show up, Floyd was automatically looking for a reason to push it off till the following day or whatever. And it's nine o'clock already. Yeah, ten o'clock's high tide. Nine thirty-two. Thought it was ten. Um. We're gonna get it down there. We'll just do it. It's hurdles. But that's not how I roll. He starts talking about hurdles. And the only thing I'm reminded of is that one freaking track star that just boom, 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 going through every hurdle. Not going over them, through them. And that's kind of what I needed to, to be reminded of in order to get this thing on the water. Cause we sat there and we were talking about it and he's, he's like, oh, well, you know, we're not gonna get it on the water today. Bull, this thing's gonna float today. Aired up the tires for the, the trailer and got underway. Here we put chalk on the board so he can see where the line is. It was actually pretty smart. It's all over me now. So that way he can see where the white line is so he can keep the tire close to the white line but not going over it. <sighs> Here goes nothing. This road was dead until it's time to pull out. And then it's car after car after car after car. There he goes. Here we go. <laughs> Got underway. Had a uh, Floyd driving the truck. No Ernie. Ernie didn't show. Slow down. Slow 
Slow down. This one's the most dangerous bend, I think, of the trip. This one, I had to literally pull the truck in front of a car a couple years ago when we were doing this. Because they just, they don't pay attention. They go flying around this bend. Sure, we turned some heads on the road. Probably pissed off a bunch of people with the barge. Uh, if I did, and I made you late for something on a whew, Friday, not too much further. They like they look at me like I'm an idiot, and then like they fly by and they slam on their brakes. Who's the dummy now? You know when you're driving and you have a what the fuck moment, take a minute to figure out what the fuck you're what the fucking about. There you go with your low crawl. I don't know if you can see it. He loves loves this low crawl. This made the AstroTurf worth it. He loves to do that roll call, that roll crawl, low crawl. He loves to do the low crawl on regular grass, but old Mariner here is allergic to everything. So he does it on the regular grass and it's, it's actually to soothe his belly, but he inflames it more. So he's got this AstroTurf now and he is just loving it, huh? So we, we get underway, get down to the Limehouse Landing. Listen to that 6-0 work. That six liter doing work in that heavy Chevy. Lots and lots of Chevy. Right. Here we go, here we go. The John P. Limehouse landing. Well, we can turn the hazards off, made it. Again, I wonder how many of those freaking mailboxes I owe people for. I took your mailbox out, I'm sorry. <sighs> Just my luck. Happen to be launching it right next to Willie. He's dropping his contender in the water as we're dropping this in. Splashed it right next to DNR nonetheless. Uh, On the food boat on the water again? That's not squirrel, is it? It is squirrels though, boat, yeah. Okay. I, I took it off the it on a bar. I took it off the pontoons and put it on the barge. Going back. I I love this guy. <laughs> you guys did it. Look how cute you hey. are. Oh. oh, he has a beard. I can't do that. <laughs> and then tried to crank the motor and she wouldn't turn. So that's another episode. Mariner, do not jump in that plus line. You don't care what they say, do you? You just want to go retrieve. There he goes, folks. There he goes. Oh, the goobs. The coops. I'm pretty sure he's going in the pond to, to go get some of that mud off. I love that dog. I love that dog. Anyways, if you enjoyed this, please go ahead and smash that like button. Hit subscribe, whichever side it's on. And now uh, YouTube thinks you'll like this video next. See you on the water.